squad, and um, they know they know how I feel and where I'm at. So getting that full week in of practice, like how did you feel like you you bounced back? How you responded? I mean, my goal was to make it through every day, and I was there. I was out there every day. So um, you know, I think a big part of the recovery process is just finding little wins like that. So that's where I'm at. What kind of some of the? I get the sense maybe in talking to you last week that there were some bumps on the road in terms of recovery. Was there anything you know significant in terms of setbacks, or how did that? How did that for a player? I mean, I, I played last year with the same injury, and um, like I said, like when you play so long, like so many players in the league do, your body um, has different compensations and stuff, and and um, I think at the end of the day, like you know, everyone, everyone's going through something, and no one really cares. It's, you know, whether or not you're out there on the field or not. So, um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't necessarily smooth for me, but, like, I think I already know when I was going through it, you know, a couple of years down the line, I'll be able to look back and be grateful for this type of moment just because I feel like, you know, if you're going to have a long NFL career, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? There's going to be a time where, where you're sitting out a little bit. Uh, for me, I feel like I just got past that, that time. Is there anything specific you want to prove to yourself this week, checklist-wise, or is it just incremental stuff that you can do? Um, just incremental stuff. Like, I really do take it one day at a time. Like today, we're focusing on first and second down. Okay, that's what I'm doing today. So um, I, I like where I'm at right now, and I'm, I'll continue to communicate with uh, with Variable and the training staff. Yeah, I mean, I mean, looking at it from a deeper defensive perspective, um, and this is nothing against Kansas City, but I think their skill players in Denver might be a better group than we'll see that we see in the Kansas City. Obviously, Travis Scott is a Hall of Fame guy, but you know, Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, and, and Hamler, and they have another tight end, number uh, 80, who's playing really well too as well. So uh, their skill position is pretty good, and obviously Russell Wilson. Uh, obviously, they have really haven't found a, a a consistent rhythm this year, but. I think Braves pointed out they're like eighth in the league in the explosive plays, so he's definitely still throwing the ball deep, so we'll have, we'll have some opportunities there. Um, but like you said, they're coming off a bye week. They just beat Jacksonville in London, had a lot of time to self-scout themselves, so uh, we have to be ready for any and everything from those guys, so we expect their best shot. You faced Russell a few times. I mean, what's the key to kind of stopping him? Is it kind of like Mahomes, keep him in the pocket? Don't, sorry, don't let him scramble around? Yeah, I mean, I think first and foremost, obviously, with Russell being a shorter quarterback, Get inside the pocket, get some, you know, get some hands in his face and kind of disrupt him. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna spin outside the pocket and he's gonna do some scramble drills and things like that. So uh, we just have to make sure we're getting people inside the pocket. And like I said, but if we can keep in the pocket, that's cool. But knowing that when he gets outside the pocket, he's looking to throw the ball deep, throw the ball vertical. So uh, just do what we can, just disrupt him as much as possible. Um, but like I said, they have a lot of good receivers on the outside, so we have to prevent those big plays that Braves, you know, has brought up many a times.